Jin, whatever I do, I do it to protect you. So you understand? I understand. Gareth has uh, has a visual effects background, so he doesn't really need a great deal of education about uh, how and where you need to use visual effects. Uh, it's mostly the subject matter itself that that dictates the use of visual effects. Um, there are many places where a setting is something that can't be entirely created practically, um, or it's too big or too expensive, and. Uh, you need various methods for synthesizing that imagery. You want to get out of here? Our rebellion is all that remains to push back the Empire. You think you might be able to help us? When was the last time you were in contact with your father? What is this? It appears he is critical to the development of a super weapon. Since we're going to be building a great many uh, assets of various kinds, um, spaceships and, uh, and other bits of, uh, of hardware, we wanted to make a digital version of the, of the model kit library so that we could do, take a similar process and, and hopefully the aesthetic would, would be continuous across the, the films that way. So. Rather than, um, than when somebody's building a, a spaceship, they're building every little nut and bolt on the, the ship, the idea was that if we built digital models of a lot of those original kit pieces, the artillery pieces, the tanks, uh, the, the F1 race car engines, if we built a lot of those same pieces and had digital versions of those, then when the modelers are building, they, they can be selecting from those pieces, fitting them into the model, and the hope is that we are preserving that same aesthetic. If my father built this thing, we need to find him. All right. How many do I need? They are requesting a call sign. It's, um, Rogue. Rogue One. In the Star Wars universe, your uh, small group of experts with complementary skills that come together to do an amazing mission um, can extend to physical diversity. That um, so having uh, one of the members of your team be a droid um, that you can use that droid for the things that a human being can't do. Uh, in a way, he's kind of the anti-C-3PO, and where C-3PO has uh, got all these remarkable capabilities, he's really only used for comic relief in the original films. But I kept thinking, yeah, but he's he's potentially a very cool character and very useful on the, a mission like this where he can speak six million forms of communication. He's able to instantly calculate the odds of success of multiple different logistic possibilities, um, can imitate any voice, can carry on multiple electronic conversations simultaneously. You know, there are all these things that you could use a droid for um, that a human being can't do, and that's why you want to have someone with those capabilities as part of your team. The power that we are dealing with here is immeasurable. If the Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? We have hope. Rebellions are built on hope. One of the things we're doing with the LED screen is in a couple of cases, we're trying to get shots complete in camera that would otherwise be visual effect shots. Um, so, for example, we, we have a ship called the Ewing that's uh, coming in to land on Edu, and it's relatively dark, sort of a dark twilight, and it's raining, and there's lightning flashes that are occurring in the sky around them. Um, and our hope is that the, the graphics that we've prepared to play back on the LED screen um, in addition to having some practical effects, some you know, rain hitting the windshield, uh, wind blowing that, um, and the lightning flashes uh, going on, will allow us to get a number of those angles complete in camera. They have no idea we're coming. Take hold of this moment. The force is strong. 
make ten men feel like a hundred. We'll take the next chance. And the next time. Trying to make as much of this uh, practical as we can. You know, we had a uh, great many costumed extras, uh, you know, wonderful creature work by Neil Scanlon's crew. Um, so we're really trying to keep uh, as much of that in camera as we can. Um, we definitely see off the top of the set at times. So there'll be the, the addition of the skyline. Uh, there's meant to be a Star Destroyer that is uh, hovering over the city as part of the occupation. So whenever you know, that comes into frame, that'll be us. Uh, they're meant to be uh, ATSTs, the two-legged uh, Imperial walkers are uh, patrolling the city. So we'll see those occasionally in the background. 